Hey guys, this video is going to be about this tool that I made. It's for use on an S52 BMW cylinder head. It will let you remove the valve springs on any intake or exhaust cylinder while the cylinder head is still in the car. So this is made from Billet Aluminum um, and there is this 3D printed model which I, I first tested uh, just for fitment. So it's, it's pretty similar and this is the second half of the tool. So the one I made, made on my mill is this one. It, it has these reliefs on the back. So they sit right on the retainers. And then the other half of the tool drops right onto, right onto the first half. And it engages these two studs that are already on the cylinder head. So what this will allow you to do is to remove the valve springs on any intake or exhaust cylinder. Uh, while the cylinder head is still on the car. This is useful because um, you can uh, you say you can uh, replace the valve stem seals without removing the cylinder head from the car, which I will have to do shortly on my car. So let's, uh, what you do, if you're doing this on the car, you need this also. Uh, this is a hose that comes with a Harbor, Harbor Freight um, uh, cylinder pressure tester. Uh, compression tester so you you thread this end down in there just like that and you hook up the other end to your air compressor I'm not sure what kind of pressure you need but I imagine you could start low work your way up um, until you feel comfortable uh, it might also depend on how how much it leaks and how your air compressor can keep up I'd also take the the piston for this cylinder whatever whichever one you're working on take it to the top so that just in case the uh, the valve does fall out then you're not gonna go too far. So to simulate that, since this is off the block, I'm gonna stuff a towel in there so don't, we don't lose the, the valves too far. So let's try this out. So after you drop these two 11 millimeter nuts on there, this is a, uh, a Torx head bolt and some nuts. And if you recognize this, this is from um, the uh, half shaft from an E36. So as we turn this, you'll see the valve springs start to compress and the keepers will be exposed. And we don't need to go all the way. And what's nice about this tool is that you've got really, really good access to all, to three sides. And there you go. There are the keepers. Um, if we back this off, let's, uh, let's try to do that. We'll get this side off too. And we'll flip the direction on a wrench. And we'll try to hold it from the other side so the camera can see. Okay, then you take your 11 millimeter, make sure it's going the right way, and you back this off, alternating. And just make sure you wear safety glasses just in case something doesn't go right. But this tool keeps it pretty safe. With the, uh, with the reliefs on the back side of this tool, um, you really can't slip off the retainers. And the way these align on the studs, um, and also the way that this bolt recesses into here, uh, it prevents tilt from going too far. And so there you go, there are your um, valve stem seals. Let me put these keepers in a safe spot before we get too, too crazy here. There's that bolt that we dropped. Okay, so at this point you could replace, uh, suppose you're upgrading your valve springs. Um, you can do that now. Uh, if you've got one of the older um, 95s that has the crappy keepers, um, I mean retainers, the non-hardened ones, you could put the new ones in now. 
there's your valve stem seal if you want to take that out and put a new one in. So that's it for this video. Um, I don't know uh, if other guys are interested in this, but if you guys are, let me know. I'll post this to some BMW forums and I'll make these available to you guys if you guys really want them. Uh, I just made this for my own use, but uh, if you guys want them, then uh, I suppose I can make some more on the mill. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I'm going to continue rolling and I'll put this back together if you guys want to see. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. from this side this time. And we are, I think we're going the right way. Yeah. enough room to get the almost okay that should, be, that should be plenty of room to get these keepers back on and as I said earlier there's uh, lots of access to reach in there and put it put your keeper in incorrectly I should probably get some tweezers but I like doing things the hard way Okay, sometimes a drop of oil will help you here because the oil suction will keep it stuck on there. Just one half. There we go. Or the two halves for that one, I gotta do the other side. I don't know if you got yeah, you can't you guys can't see the other side. I guess one drawback to this tool is you have to do these in pairs, otherwise this tool will get really unbalanced and um, I suppose it could still work, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it, but I don't know why you'd want to only do one, one of the intake or one of the exhaust valves for a cylinder. Sorry, not the valves, I keep calling the valves there. We're working on the top side so it's just the valve springs. Okay, I got the tweezers, so hopefully this will help out a little bit. Oh yeah, should have done this from the beginning. Okay. Isn't that always the case? So, double check everything's on the right grooves, because there's more than one groove it can sit into. Then I'll try to do it from this side so you guys can see. If you guys are still watching. Tool the right way. There we go. Okay. Double check before we release everything, and it looks good. Be able to break these loose and just spin them by hand. Okay, drop your nut in there. Okay, there we go. We're back together. See you guys next time.